Well, for me, dark meat on the side, white keeps me mean and lean, you know? That's why I, I married white men. That's what I like. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you mean, dark I, meat on the side? I am no, boy, I'm not. I'm saying, like, I like, I really do think black men are attractive. I do. Like, that's my... Well, what do you mean, dark meat on the side? That's mean, honey. <laughs> that's... I... You know what that means. Wait, what are you reading it at? I don't, how did you say it? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I when, like, when I think about men, I like <laughs> dark men. I do. I, right, you'd like your main man to be white and the, your side be white. And apparently, <laughs> according to what happened on today's Sherry Shepard show with Joy Behar as the guest, Jeannie Mai isn't the only non-black woman who we are all familiar with, who feels like her main man, the man she will marry, must be white. Uh, but on the side, a black man will do. Welcome back, My View on the View. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm your host, of course, MVOTV. I love hanging out with you guys. Uh, thank you for having your notifications set to all because I am not here every day now. I'm just here whenever I can fit it into my schedule. So to be sure that you're notified of Whenever I do an upload, make sure, just check again that your notifications are set to all. Now, let me tell you what happened today and what has people just <laughs> in stitches online. So today, today being, of course, Wednesday, October 11th, Joy was a guest on Cherry Show. You, we all know Joy has uh, some plays that are going to be debuting in New York uh, at the top of the year, et cetera, et cetera. And they got to talking about Barbara Walters, the late, great Barbara Walters. Now, we had all heard throughout the years that Barbara Walters really did like black men, but she would never take it so far as to marry one or really be seen in public with one, right? But she really enjoyed black men. Well, today on the Sherry Shepard Show, Sherry reveals some information about Barbara Walters that she said she has never said publicly before. And Joy corroborated the information. And so take a listen and I'll be right back. I will tell you stuff, and then you will go and tell it. And like Joy, you know, and I could, we, Joy and I will shut down a restaurant. We have such a good time. But I, this is what I'm telling. And I've never told this before. I'm gonna tell. I told Joy that I had run into Paul Mooney, and Paul Mooney has said that he caught Barbara Walters with Richard Pryor. Caught Barbara Walters with Richard, and I was like, and she slept with Richard. Yes, yeah. that's what Paul Mooney said. And I came back. I came back and I was like, Joy, guess what? <laughs> when you talk like that, you know, it, don't tell nobody. No, but I remember this. And I came in, I told you, and I said, Paul Mooney said he called Barbara with Richard Pryor. He walked in on him. And then I was like, don't tell nobody. He walked in on He him. walked in. That's what he said. He looked through the door and I said, don't act like you don't remember. I said... <laughs> It was just me and Joy. And I said, enjoy. And I'm like, don't tell nobody. The next day, Barbara walks in and you go, so. You, I didn't say you told me. No, you didn't. But she goes, she says, I'm like, so you slipping Richard Pryor, huh? What did she say? Wait, what did she say? She turned around and, you know, Barbara's head was swivel like that. And she goes, who told you that? <laughs> and I'm sitting there like I had just got this job. Enjoy, you do that because you're not scared of Barbara. Well, you know, Barbara, for, be, between you and me, Barbara. <laughs> Barbara liked a brother. Yeah, I know. She did. She was going out with a, a black senator. Is this going to be on television? <laughs> no, she did. You don't have his picture. But no, it's, we, no, it's, it's in her book. It's too. in her book, yeah. Audition. She was going out with a black center right. because Bar you all always used to say Barbara loved the chocolate man. She she used to love Colin. Uh, Colin uh, Colin Powell was her crush. loved Colin Powell. Every time Colin Powell came on, Barbara was all the way over here. Yeah, all the way. <laughs> She's true. She did. She loved her brother. You know what? I am telling you, when they revealed that Barbara Walters <laughs> had had sex with Richard Pryor who was always openly bisexual, by the way, for those of you who don't know. He never tried to hide that. That's one of the great things about Richard Pryor. He was always willing to be who he really was, no matter what. Um, but 
I will tell you, you should have seen the audience faces. If you look online, people are shocked, you know, because they would have expected Barbara Walters, if she was going to be with the black man sexually, for it to be a senator like, uh, you know, what people have always heard and and known about. But maybe some, you know, some guy who was so, you know, uh, outwardly polished, shall we say, uh, someone who... um, well, I won't use that word, <laughs> but I was going to say something that one of my favorite people, uh, Willie D, always uses to describe certain people. But at any rate, meaning for those of you who don't know, there's a certain uh, word in, uh, that is used to describe uh, sometimes uh, people who are uh, of color, be they black or Hispanic or you know Native American or whatever. But they love to, um, they wish they were white. They really do. They wish they were white. And no, it's not the word that starts with an O. And please don't ask anyone in the comments, okay? If you don't know, you don't know. It's not that important anyway, so we'll just leave it at that. Um, But at any rate, I will tell you, this was very interesting to say the least. Um, We always had heard that Barbara Walters had a major crush on Barack Obama. But I learned not only about the Richard Pryor situation, but also about Colin Powell, Colin uh, Colin Powell, uh, that she always had a major crush on him. So this was very interesting. You know, I tell you, when people pass away, all their business gets in the streets, all of it. Uh, People start sharing information that they didn't share when the person was alive. Remember, we talked about a few weeks back, Sage Steele, the uh, former ESPN co-host and and host, because she was a co-host at one time, and then she hosted her own show, that she waited till after Barbara had passed to reveal that Barbara was violent with her behind the scenes. Um, and a lot of other information has come out about Barbara Walters since she's passed. And, you know, I guess that's kind of the thing is that people do feel more, you know, OK about coming out and saying whatever they want to say, because, well, it, it technically speaking can't hurt the person. It definitely can't hurt their reputation. Um, but what this shows is that, you know, people that we admire, they always have these secret lives. Um, very few people really ever believed until Barbara Walters came out and, you know, admitted it in her book audition, which they referred to in uh, on the show today. Uh, very few people refuse to believe that she would have actually been with a black man until she said, yes, I used to date a black senator. Um, but there were many other men who I now s- uh, suppose will have no problem coming out and saying, and I was one of them. It's kind of like what we learned from Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones revealed to the world that Ivanka Trump, right, that he had been with her, that she reached out to him. She was the one who wanted to date him. And so, um, I am all for interracial relationship, inter, excuse me, interracial relationships if they work for people. I think it's all, you know, each person is their own person. But I will tell you what I do have a problem with. Um, is what very often happens, uh, like a Jeannie Mai, who later did marry a black man only for him to dump her. Um, but the bottom line is that, you know, to try to hide these types of things, um, especially when you see people who are blatantly racist, like I have known men, white men in particular, who were blatantly racist, like the N word flew out of their mouth every chance that it could. And yet, on the side, they had so many black women that they were having sex with. Now, they were married, okay, to a white woman. And so it's very interesting how people do. They'll do one thing publicly or publicly or say one thing publicly, but behind the scenes, girl, it's a whole nother story. So that's the story. That's what people are talking about today in regards to The View. <laughs> They're talking about this revelation uh, that the late, great Paul Mooney shared uh, with Sherry Shepard. And of course, other people, I'm sure he told that too that he caught Barbara Walters with Richard Pryor. So Joy was funny on this show. She looked fantastic. Or any of you there who live in the um, New York or New Jersey era, area, or Brooklyn maybe, or Harlem, are you guys going to go and see uh, any of Joy's plays? I will tell you, if I were there, I would definitely go to at least one, at least the one that she's going to be performing in so that I could see you know, her. Uh, because you know, Joy is 81 and she's in fantastic um, shape and health and, and and that we know of. But you just never know what tomorrow brings, right? For all of us, not just uh, because she's 81. For all of us, we never know what tomorrow will bring. And so I will tell you, I, I really am big on taking advantage. And like Sherry said during the show, if you saw the whole show, she told Joy, I'm giving you your flowers now because, you know, we live in a day and time where people are passing away who are healthy. They're passing away, uh, let alone, you know, people who are sick. And so 
um, I would definitely go and celebrate joy and, and support um, the cause uh, because remember all those ticket sales, they go to a good cause. And so it was just, it was just great. This was a great show. Joy did a great job, but joy just proved once again, she is so messy. So thanks for joining me. Have a fantastic day. This is my view on the view. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy hanging out, or you can give it a thumbs down to comment and to subscribe to our community. Bye guys.